Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing some baking in my kitchen. Gonna make some streusel coffee cake muffins. I hope you enjoy. So I'll just pop on my apron. Whoa, ready to go. Let's preheat our oven. All right guys, so here's my recipe and we're preheating our oven for 177 degrees. This cooking time's a little bit off because this is the recipe for an actual cake. Whereas today we're gonna do some muffins. These are just a little bit, I don't know, crisper, maybe crunchier. They've just got a nicer texture, you know? You, you always want that end bit of a cake, so why not just have a muffin where it's all nice and golden brown and all around instead of just, you know, in on the outsides. So here we've got our oven, put it on fan forced. Uh, that's 180, so just slightly below that will do. Perfect. So here we are, here's our station. I've got all my ingredients ready to go. And of course I'm using a KitchenAid because I have to clean the sugar with the eggs. Um, Chicken with the butter. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely need a recipe. Well, anyway, I'll just show you my ingredients, show you what we've got here. Well, here's what we've got. We've got our dry ingredients, which is the flour, salt, baking powder, and baking soda. And so I have 241 grams of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, one half a teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of salt in that one and I've just whisked that together to make sure it's all fully incorporated um, and then I've got two butters um, so one of them is going to be in the streusel um, and that's the one with slightly more so that's about one, 110 and this one's about 100 grams um, and then I've got a cup of yogurt um, you could use yogurt or sour cream whatever you've got on hand it doesn't make too much of a difference I don't think and then I've got my sugar um, and that is just 184 grams of sugar. Now that's in the actual cake. I've also got my streusel recipe here, um, which is all combined, ready to go. And that one's got um, 120 grams of flour, um, 85 grams of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, um, 30, 30 grams of normal sugar, um, an eighth of a teaspoon of baking powder, and then of course, the smaller butter, oh no, the bigger butter, no, the smaller butter. <laughs> smaller butter goes in with the streusel. And then we've also got some salt in there, extra flavor. And then, yeah. Oh, and these are my eggs. So there's three eggs, and I've also put some um, vanilla essence. I put two teaspoons in there. So that's all the ingredients you need to make this recipe. So to start off, we're gonna melt this butter in the microwave, and then we're gonna add it to the streusel ingredients. First things first, we're melting the butter. So I'm just gonna chuck this in the microwave for 30 seconds. And now we wait. So we got the melted butter now. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add this to the streusel dry ingredients. So we've got that here in my Pyrex dish, which is definitely too small, but uh, you make do with what you can. <laughs> so just pop that straight in. I'm just gonna stir that with a fork. You could use a whisk if you want. should harden um, while we're making the rest of it so if it looks a bit moist um, it should solidify be a little bit better in a minute so I'll just put that to the side all right time to get the kitchen aid going we're gonna cream our sugar with our butter all right so we've got three things going once we got the kitchen aid Whoop. putting the paddle Attachment in. That's the attachment you want to use with your KitchenAid um, if you're making most cakes. 
Um, and then I've got the recipe so I know exactly what I'm doing at any given moment. And here are my ingredients. Um, so to start off, we're starting with the butter and the sugar. And the butter should be room temperature if you can. It's a lot easier. Um, all right. So let's pop that butter in. Would be good if I had a spatula. There. There's the butter. I'm going to stream the sugar in. And then we're going to lift that up. Oops. And we're just going to mix it on low. Whoa, yes. Yes, low for a few minutes just so that they can incorporate. So we're just mixing on low. Alright, now that it's, um, ooh, a bit of butter on my finger. Now that it's combined, um, we're going to crank up that speed to medium medium high um, and then we are going to let it mix for about two to three minutes yeah so I'll just turn up about halfway through you probably want to give it a scrape down the sides because it starts to get stuck a bit um, and it definitely just helps it with the mixing process if you give it a quick scrape I'll just turn that, turn that off scrape down go and now just another minute while that's finishing off we're gonna get our parchment and muffin tray lined ready to go for when we're finished with the actual dough dough batter batter yes so we want about five by five centimeter squares my squares um, just enough to uh, line all my trays. They, these are so uneven, um, but you you should be able to do a better job than me. So um, I look forward to you um, proving me useless. <laughs> so we'll pop those to the side and get back to our batter. All right. So here we are again. Um, I'm going to turn this back on, and then we're going to slowly add the eggs one at a time and scraping down the sides um, when we need to. So, oh, I actually might scrape down the sides now. As you can see, it's kind of a, stuck around the edges, which is what happens. All right, let's turn this on and we'll add our eggs. The side once more, there's still a bit of butter and sugar stuck to the side. Back on it goes. combined now so I'm gonna add in the yogurt um, slowly <laughs> I might actually use a spoon to do this because we don't want to overwhelm the mixture
I'd also want to clean off a bit of the whisk in case there's any excess butter just sitting on there. Whisk paddle. It's a paddle. <laughs> if you are using, using a whisk, I'm sure it's fine. It's probably quite similar. I don't really know the reason behind using a paddle attachment for cakes. Alright, now we're going to continue um, mixing that for another minute. A minute or two. dry and mix until combined okay all right guys so now we're gonna sift in our dry ingredients into the wet um, that we just mixed um, so grab the dry and just pop it through a sieve and that's just to get out any lumps you don't necessarily have to but it's a lot safer to just make sure it goes through a sieve because otherwise you might get a clump in the cake and you know that can ruin it but that's okay it's not that big a deal if that happens. All right, now what we're going to do is we're just going to fold that through. So we want to still keep the volume that we've acquired through mixing, and we're just going to fold that through. You don't want to over, over mix. And you can probably smell this cake has a very sour flavor that comes from the um, from the yogurt or the sour cream, depending on which one you're using. And that really kind of counteracts the sweetness because there is quite a bit of sugar in this one. So we'll just keep mixing that through. Here is what it looks like. It's quite smooth and there are no visible um, dry spots. And you always want to check the bottom. There's always a little clump in the bottom but no nope, that's good so next we're gonna get to the fun part which is lining the trays and then we're gonna spoon them in so here we've got the trays um, what I'm gonna do is I'm whoa there, there goes one these are quite big trays oh god this rolly um, so if you're using smaller that's okay you just might want to um, take into account the difference in cooking time um, so these ones might take 30 minutes, whereas um, cupcake size might take only 20. Um, so definitely um, check them at, say, 20 or 25 minutes, um, just to make sure they're not um, overcooking. I would suggest using butter if you have some. Um, unfortunately, we've run out of butter, so I had to use some um, olive oil spray. And it just, it doesn't hold the paper in as nicely. Um, and I think my paper's a little bit too small. That's okay, I'll just layer it over. thinking next time I'm going to actually go and buy some uh, muffin tray liners because that was obviously not very much fun <laughs> uh. so here we have our liners and yes I did start getting fed up these ones are okay <laughs> sort of oh well that's not what matters <laughs> hoping that we had some walnuts or something but we didn't so got the trusty almonds out and I'm just gonna grind up about a handful of those, not too many. And 
Um, and you could do this in a Nutribullet or food processor. I just like to have it slightly, you know, rustic. Handmade, hand chopped. The true homemade muffin. that over to our trusty cupcakes. <laughs> Here we go. So I'll just add a little bit of a sprinkle on top and that'll definitely crisp up while they're cooking. Ooh. All right, I'll just finish the rest off and I'll show you when I'm done. Finished with the assembly. Here they are. They're not looking amazing, but they do look good. And I tasted some of it. It was pretty good. <laughs> but um, yeah, hopefully it tastes just as good when they come out of the oven. Um, so I'm gonna pop them in. I'm gonna start with 25 minutes, and I'm gonna check them then. Um, do the toothpick tooth tooth test. Yes and we'll see how that goes. about 25 minutes that they've been in so I'm gonna check them see how they're going and maybe they'll have to go in for longer who knows all right oh yeah they need a bit longer I can tell by looking at them and I think I think my toppings have sunk which is a bit sad but that's what happens so we'll check back on them in, I'd say at, at least five minutes, maybe even 10. Yeah, probably 10 minutes. All right. Another 10 minutes. I'm gonna check on it again. Hopefully it's ready now. Oh yeah. Ooh. Okay, they did, they did sink a little bit. Good to go. So here they are. Some of them turned out better and I don't know why. See these ones over here? I don't know why. I might have overloaded these ones and that's why they sunk. So I'm going to let them cool in the pan for a little bit and then we can do a, t a taste test, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> Hi guys, how's it going? It's a bit later now, I just finished doing some exercise and I realized that I hadn't tried my coffee cake with a coffee, so. It's decaf and it is night time so uh, it's a bit later, sorry about that. Mmm, good coffee. And 
now the big moment. These have actually cooled down now, so ready to be eaten. Paper did stick a little bit, which is annoying. That's okay. Now that is golden. Just break them off. Ooh. You can see the um, the brown streusel in the middle. Oops. And the almonds seem to sink a little bit, but that's okay. Have a little bit with my coffee. the little bits of sugar that are in the streusel. So good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. <laughs> Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching my video and I hope to see you again soon for more videos coming up.